Hi, Gary here from Mr G Shave, back for a, I think it's the penultimate shave of the year. Uh, maybe not the penultimate, because I've got, uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing another shave now. I'm not going to have time. We've got furniture arriving for the bedroom that's been refurbished all next week. And th there's a lot going on next week. So I, I don't think I'll be doing a Wednesday shave or a Monday shave next week. Um, and then the, my last shave before Christmas will be Christmas Eve, I think. I should be able to get one done on Christmas Eve. Um, I may have to pre-record it though, depending on when I get the right slot. Um, yeah, and then after that, it'll probably be New Year's Eve. So a little bit sparse with the videos for the run up to Christmas, but it's just life's so hectic here at the moment that I've just got too much on and I haven't got the time to spare the three, four hours that it takes to do the shave, pack everything away, go up, edit, and then upload to YouTube and, and, and all of that. So um, if if and when I get time to do a shave on camera, I will do it. But it's it's a big if. <laughs> I will definitely get one up for New Year's Eve. But it, as I say, it may have to be pre-recorded. Um, so yeah, let's get on with today's shave. This is shave number 172, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up there. Um, before I start though, um, for my UK, for my viewers in the UK, you may already be aware of this, but I, I only last week found out that Thayer's um, Witch Hazel is now available in Boots for about £12 a bottle. I bought two bottles. I've, I've still got two bottles of lemon. The, the, this one is, I need my glasses on, I can't see. They're about £12 a bottle and I think you've got to pay postage, but that's the cucumber. So that's arrived this morning. It's taken about a week to get here. And then uh, this is coconut water. I thought I'd give that a go. Um, so if you, if you weren't aware, I hope this, you know, this is a little heads up. You can get it now in boots for about 12 pounds a bottle, um, which is substantially cheaper than if you had to have them shift in, shipped in from the US. So, so there we are. Uh, that's a little heads up for everybody. Um, what am I using today? I'm using uh, my Yaki a, a green or obsidian green brush. It's a 24 millimeter brush. Let's make sure that's the right way around. 24 millimeter brush. So I'm going to put that there. I'm using my Giles Shaving Co. Uh, pedestal bowl. Not pedestal. This is not the pedestal bowl. This is the bowl with a handle. <laughs> So deep shaving bowl or whatever. Um, and then for the razor, the razor is also new. So obviously this is not a budget shave now. My, I've done, I'm done with the budget shaves. This is a new razor to the den. Um, you all know that I've got the twig and now I've got the thorn. So there we are. Um, looking at them side by side, they don't look different at all. Let's just put my glasses on. There is more blade exposure. So if you look at them, I think you should be able to see that there is definitely a bit more blade exposure. Uh, I have used this um, off camera. Um, and if I'm honest, I'll probably do a comparison in the new year. I'll do a like for like shave in the new year, but because today I'm doing a head and face shave, I just decided I'll just use this today. Um, so that that's I'm going to use the new new thorn in my den. So that's the hardware done. I'm going to get ready for the shave and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back all ready for the shave. Uh, before I get on with it, I've got some new razor blades in that were recommended to me by a subscriber and these are PermaSharp half DE blades. So and they just come in a pack of 100 wrapped separately so really nice um, I've used uh, as I say there's one in there it'll be on its second use um, so just wanted to show that it's been highly recommended by one of my subscribers and when I tried it off camera it was it was great was it any better than the Euromax blades not sure <laughs> I've really got to try an eraser that I know so like the, the twig rather than the thorn but it was no, it perfectly good 
Right then, so um, pre-show today, let's take it out of the box, is Perazzo Red. So let's get on, with, let's put some of that on. As I've said, this is a, a head and face shave. So it's going to be a slightly longer video. But I, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it yesterday. I had just too many things happening. Nothing of, you know, any great interest to you guys, but I just had too much on. I didn't have a great night's sleep because of my back. Um, so I just thought I, ha I hadn't got the time. Um, just didn't I, I just didn't get the time yesterday so and I didn't want to push it because if I pushed it I'd have probably ended up with a spasm so I just thought you know what I'll just do a double barrel shave I've had a lot on today I've been busy and there's all sorts of work going on in that room to try and get it ready because the carpets arrived yesterday uh, and we weren't ready for it so there's just the skirtings to paint it's basically all paint work to do bits and pieces um, and uh, that's all being done by my daughter and my son today so they're busy in there painting away um, the soap today Phoenix uh, not Phoenix and but yeah Phoenix and Bow Spitfire one of my favorite soaps this absolutely one of my favorite winter soaps absolutely stunning soap. I haven't used it often as you can see um, but I always enjoy my shaves with this stuff and a tiny amount makes copious amounts of lather and this is a great lathering bowl so if you think if you're tempted you know Giles does a great job and they're great value for money he could probably charge double and you'd probably say it was still value for money you didn't hear that Giles <laughs> So it'll be interesting to see how this thorn works. Let's see if I can tell any difference. I might just give it a, the other one a spin. I don't think I've got the same blade in. So when I do it, I want it to be a direct like for like comparison with the same blades. But it might be interesting to try the other one, Euromax versus. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. I've got the razor ready there, so why not? But then I will do a, a like for like with the same blades and everything in the new year. Try and get some extra lather from my ears. <laughs> so I hope you've all had a great week and you're beginning to wind down the last week before Christmas. Some of you may have already broken up teachers and the like um, so yeah time to wind down I think so I've got a blade in in this and that's a Euromax so I'm going to start on the dome on my left side with the standard twig with a Euromax blade in it and I don't know how many uses this blade has had so it's not really a great comparison but I just decided to do it off the cuff it's cutting well it's probably at the end of its use this blade I'm not sure Okay, that's one half done so let's see if there's a difference well that feels smoother but that's 
I think this that's probably down to the fact that this is a a blade on its second use. But I wouldn't have said I can feel any great difference in terms of blade feel. But there is definitely more blade exposure <clears throat> when you look at them, you know, with it's difficult to see on camera, but there's definitely a slightly larger blade exposure on it. So that's pass one on the day. Let's go here. Now this is probably where I will be able to tell the difference. Interesting. I think that blade is at the end of its use. <clears throat> this definitely feels sharper. So yeah, I don't think this is a fair test. There's definitely more left on this side. I mean, I could change out the blade, but it's too late to do that now. <clears throat> Bit more water on the solar panel and on the face. So have you got any plans for your Christmas Eve shave? Are you going to have a Christmas Eve shave or are you going to do yours on Christmas Day? I certainly won't be putting up a video on Christmas Day. <laughs> no way. I think I'd be hung, drawn and quartered by my family if I did that. Um, could pre-record it, I guess, but I'm doing, what, I'm doing the Christmas Eve shave, um, as I always do. But this year I may have to pre-record. There's just so much going on with all the, the work pretty much completed in the spare room and then the furniture arriving and getting it all set up and hanging curtains and because we basically took the room back to brick. Um, took out the cupboards and everything. There were sort of built-in cupboards. It, it, it complete, we completely gutted the room because <clears throat> um, it hadn't been used in quite a while and there was some black mold around the windows and we found out that there were seals around the windows had gone so we had to get re all of those and there was a, quite a lot to do um, and it looks great it looks great um, right what am I doing across the grain I'll do the do oh do the dome first let's get let's use the right razor yeah this this blade has seen the best of its days so this isn't a great comparison But as of right now, I wouldn't say there's a lot more blade feel with this, with the, with the other one. Um, may as well do it like this. great love this absolutely love this right on to the thorn a lot smoother I I will I will do this comparison I'll have new blades in it so I'll do two new comparisons of this I'll do the one with the Euromax versus the um, 
Perma Sharps. Uh, I forgot the name of it then. Um, and I'll do one where I use Perma Sharp, two Perma Sharp blades, brand new. I'll do that next year. I'm sure there are plenty of other. comparison videos out there um, where they compare the twig to the thorn but if you want me to do it let me know in the comments I will do it next year um, weird to think that next year is only a couple of weeks away but there we are right let's get the third and final pass done well it's not the final pass because on the face I always do a pickup. At the moment I would say the twig feels rougher, but that's down to the blade, so it's not really a great comparison. So they need to be like for like. It was just off the top of my head, I thought, why not? It's there, do it. <clears throat> but it's not a fair comparison because the blade in the twig is at the end of its life and the blade in the thorn is pretty much new so can't compare what's that advert go compare go compare do that <laughs> okay so against the grain <clears throat> I'm really concentrating to see if I can feel anything that that wouldn't be I couldn't attribute to the blade um, and at the moment no can't feel a thing I can't feel a difference at all other than the blade in one is sharper than the other and that's for obvious reasons so but this is just my personal opinion you've always got to remember this is what I'm experiencing, your, your experiences may well differ from mine. Yeah, this, this blade's had it. It's doing the job, but it's just beginning to tug. So it's not a fair comparison. <clears throat> There's still some Velcro back here. That's what I mean, this blade's had it. I've got it down to BBS, but it's taking some extra work. There's, it's pretty much BBS on the other side. Just in the crease here. That's it, BBS. Okay, against the grain. Oh yeah, this is verging on the uncomfortable. I think that one's had it. I'm going to stop with that one because it's just not doing the job.
little bit of Velcro there, a lot of Velcro there. <clears throat> Not a fair comparison, as I say. Quick fourth pass. This soap is absolutely stunning. I would say it's scent, the scent strength on this is easily a 7 or 8 out of 10. It's fantastic. Leather, leather and creosote oil. I don't know. It, it just, it's a stunning scent. At first, I wasn't sure what to make of it. But now, oh, I absolutely love it. Wouldn't, you know, it, it's definitely in my top 10 soaps in terms of scents. Really slick. Fantastic. Well, for this shave, The thorn wins, but it, as I say, it was an unfair comparison. It was on the spur of the moment and last minute decision and didn't work. <clears throat> so I will do it again in probably in January. It depends. I've got a lot of Battle of the Blades lined up and I've got to try and start getting those done. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to get myself cleaned up. And I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. All ready for the post shave. Post shave feel, both sides BBS. Really nice, well hydrated shave. You almost wouldn't need a balm. But I'm gonna, I've got the cold rinse to go and the rest of the process. So here we go. <clears throat> cold rinse. I don't think I'm going to bother with the balm. It doesn't feel irritated at all. We'll soon find out this will sting if... Uh, uh, this has definitely got a sting to it <clears throat> if uh, you've irritated the skin. So here we go. Boots, tea tree and witch hazel. Plenty in my hand. Both face and dome. Next to no feedback. Slight sting less than a one out of ten so success even with a duff blade or a well used blade a blunt blade i would say it can't have been blunt it's actually got to bbs but it was no it wasn't very comfortable <clears throat> and the after show today i'll show you the box um i'm not sure whether this is still available at marks and spencers but it's um marks and spencers original wool spice gentleman so there it is. Um, I, I don't know. I've been in to Marks and Spencers lately looking for presents. Um, and uh, I couldn't find any. So, But they had just refurbished, I think, the store. So who knows? Oh, not much. There is a sting with this, but not a lot. I would say it's only a 1 out of 10, maybe a 2. That is great and a good match to the uh, Phoenix and Bow Spitfire. And then the post shave lotion is Spitfire again. There it is down there. So Phoenix and Bow Spitfire. Give it a bit of a shake. <clears throat> uh, 
and that's it there. Oh, got a lovely scent to it. Oh yeah. Amazing. And that, ladies and then, ladies and gentlemen, it is the end of today's shave. As I say, I don't know if I'm gonna get another shave in now before Christmas Eve. I doubt it, is the honest answer. But if I do, it'll be a bonus. Um, but I, I do promise I will get one in for Christmas Eve, whether I have to pre-record it or whether I can actually do it on Christmas Eve is another thing. But I'll get one up on Christmas Eve. All right, see you then, bye now.